Hello, in this video, we're going to factor x to the seventh minus x cubed. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. Let's start by writing it down again. So we have x to the seventh power minus x to the third power. Whenever you're factoring, you should always try to see if you have a common factor. In this case, the greatest common factor is x cubed. Let's go ahead and write it, x cubed. Then we put a parentheses, and then we think about what goes here. The question you want to ask yourself in your mind is, what do you multiply by x cubed in order to get x to the seventh? Well, that would be x to the fourth. And the reason is when you multiply these, because the bases are the same, you add the exponents. Three plus four is seven. And we have a minus. Then again, you ask the question, what do you multiply by x cubed in order to get x cubed? Well, just one. And we can actually keep going here. This is actually the difference of squares. So we can write this as x cubed parentheses x squared squared minus one squared. And let me just refresh your memory on the formula we're going to use next. The difference of squares formula says if you have a squared minus b squared, that's equal to parentheses a minus b times a plus b. So now we can use this formula. So continuing, we have x cubed. So our a is x squared, see, because it's a squared. So it's parentheses x squared. And then our b is one, so minus one times x squared plus one. Again, it's a minus b, a plus b, x squared minus one, x squared plus one. And then we can use the difference of squares formula again, x squared minus one. You could think of it as x squared minus one squared. This will be x cubed. So it's a minus b, so x minus one, because a is x and b is one. And then a plus b, so x plus one. And we still have the x squared and the plus one. And this would be the fully factored form of x to the seventh minus x cubed. So it takes a little bit of work to get it this far. You could actually keep factoring, but we're only factoring over real numbers. Uh, but just a side note, x squared plus one actually does factor, but typically you don't do it. It's x plus i, x minus i, where i is the imaginary unit. So extra life knowledge. But most of the time, I would say 99% of the time, maybe 99.9% .9 of the time, you just stop here because it involves complex numbers. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is trying to learn mathematics. Good luck.